All right, guys, if you are still struggling with the algorithm and you're just not quite sure, but you did all right with the area model, there's a way to bridge the two of those, combine them and use them both together. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so I'm not going to take a whole lot of time to explain breaking apart the number. We've done the area models for over a week now. Whenever you get the answers for in your boxes, your different place values. These are the numbers you're going to have appearing down here. Okay. So we always start in our ones place. Doesn't matter whether you're using the standard algorithm or we're coming into this. So five times two, there's 10. So this number has now appeared over here. Okay. Well, four times two is eight. We don't see an eight, but there's an 80. And then the last one's 1,200. Okay, six times two is 12. And there's some zeros. Okay, and how we got these numbers is when I took four times two, it's eight, but it's in the tens place. So it's not just eight, it's 80. And then six times two, there's our 12, but it's in the hundreds place. So that's why there are these two zeros. And then we add it up, and we still get 1,290, just like we did whether we used the um, area model, the algorithm, or this mix in between. All right, let's look at the next one. 224 times 3. Again, if you liked using that area model, you break it apart and then do your multiplying. And these numbers are what's going to be filled in over here. You don't have to do the area model with this, but it does help so that you know that you're getting the right numbers. Okay, well, four times three is 12. Three times two is six. Okay. And notice I put that right underneath of my tens place, but I can't leave this blank, so that's where the zero comes in, and there is our number 60. I've used the two and the tens. And now we have the two in the hundreds place. Three times two, again, is six, and I'm gonna line that up under the hundreds place. Can't have things blank. So there's our 600 that appears there. And when I add them up, 672. So this method, again, is just bridging the two together. If this one made a little bit more sense to you. All right, two more to do. 105 times 5. Here's my area model. Now this one's a little tricky because it has a zero. So there's my 100, zero, and the five. So 105, so I should see the numbers 500. That's gonna be a big old zero because anything times zero is zero. And five times five is 25. 5 times 5, we just said, is 25, and I've used that one. 5 times 0 is 0, and I'm going to put that in the tens place. But I can't have a blank, so that whole line, there's nothing. And the last one, 5 times 1, but in the hundreds place, makes it 5, and then we add in our two zeros. And again, there are our numbers, 500 the zero and 25, and I add them up. And the last one I'm gonna do with you is number four, 705 
times 7. So I have 700, big 0, and 5. And there's our 7. 7 times 7 is 49. 100. 7 times 0 is 0. And 7 times 5 is 35. So I should see these numbers down here. All right, 5 times 7, we just said, is 35. So I know I've used that one. 7 times 0 is 0. And I make sure I put that in the tens place. And then I put a 0 into the ones. Now I've got that one. And this last one, 7 times 7 is 49. And add in the two zeros. So there's my three numbers. I add them up and get 4,935. Okay, so again, just like in the last video, number five is yours to try. If this way makes better sense, do it that way. I don't care which way you take to finish these guys as long as you're able to get to the right answer. Area model, the algorithm, what I just showed you, the mix in between, any of it's fine. If you're still not sure, call me and I'll talk to you then.